Imagine waking up in a place where rent, food, and everything else costs you less than $800 a month. Sounds like a dream, right? But what if I told you the real change isn't just about saving money, it's about discovering a new way of life? That's exactly what happened when a man moved to Cambodia. And the real transformation, he met and married a local woman, and everything changed completely. He went from being just a foreigner to becoming part of a close-knit, warm family. By the end of this video, you won't just learn about the unique qualities of Cambodian women, I'll also share a surprising cultural tradition that plays a major role in relationships here, something that could change how you think about retiring in Cambodia. Are you curious? Let's dive in. Located in Southeast Asia, Cambodia is where the ancient and modern worlds meet. It is not only home to the iconic Angkor Wat, but also to vibrant cities like Phnom Penh, a bustling city with a lively pace and modern amenities. Imagine this, you can rent a house in the heart of Phnom Penh for $440, and it gets much cheaper if you choose to live in the suburbs or smaller towns. The cost of living is extremely affordable, and for just $2.80, you can sit down and enjoy a meal of a muck, a fragrant fish curry wrapped in banana leaves, or savor the simplicity of luck lack, a stir-fried beef dish loved by locals. It's easy to manage your budget while living here. But what really makes Cambodia special is the sense of peace you will find. Life moves at a slower pace, and you will feel connected to the country's rich culture. Tonal Sap Lake, the heart of Cambodia's ecosystem. The largest freshwater lake in Southeast Asia, it plays a vital role in the lives of Cambodians, with the lake's seasonal rise and fall caused by the reversal of the Tonla Sap River making it a unique hydrological phenomenon. The floating villages along the lake, such as Kampong Fluke and Chong Nis, are remarkable examples of communities living in harmony with nature. These villages, which include stilt houses and floating structures, offer visitors an intimate glimpse into a way of life deeply connected to water. Tours often include boat trips that take visitors through lush mangrove forests, bustling markets and local fishing, providing an insight into the culture, economy and biodiversity of the area. For those seeking a tropical paradise, the coastal town of Sihanoukville is the gateway to Cambodia's idyllic islands of Koh Rong and Koh Rong Samlom. Renowned for their crystal clear waters, white sand beaches and laid-back vibe, these islands have become popular with backpackers and luxury travelers alike. For the more adventurous, Cambodia's Cardamom Mountains are one of Southeast Asia's most important and remote wilderness areas. This mountain range in the southwest of the country is home to dense rainforests, rare wildlife and breathtaking scenery. Cambodia's landscapes and attractions offer a mosaic of experiences, from sacred temples to wilderness and serene islands. Cambodia is known for its safety. With a low crime rate and political stability, you'll feel comfortable walking through the streets, exploring local markets, or socializing with your neighbors. Additionally, getting a long-term visa in Cambodia is very straightforward, especially for retirees. Whether you're looking for a simple tourist visa or a longer-term visa, the process is relatively easy and affordable. This allows you to settle into life in Cambodia without stress. Cambodia, a land with a rich history, vibrant culture, and a way of life that many foreigners are drawn to. But what about the women here? What is it like to build a relationship or even a life with a Cambodian woman? But here's the real question. Are these relationships truly as peaceful and harmonious as they appear on the surface? Or are there hidden challenges beneath, waiting to surprise you? Stay tuned, because we're going to explore that and much more throughout this video. For centuries, Cambodian women have been the heart of the family, bearing responsibilities that go far beyond the household. Their values are shaped by some of the country's oldest teachings, such as the H. E. Bab Sre, a 14th century poem still recited to this day. This law for women teaches young girls how to respect their husbands, raise children, and maintain peace within the family. Imagine being taught from a young age that the harmony of the family rests on your shoulders. That's a significant pressure, but it also gives a deep sense of purpose. This tradition isn't just a part of history, it continues to exist in modern times. However, times are changing, and Cambodian women, especially in the cities, 
are balancing these traditions with modern life. Many women today are pursuing careers, education, and have more exposure to global culture, but they remain deeply connected to their roots. The blend of modernity and tradition makes Cambodian women truly unique. They are embracing new opportunities, but their sense of responsibility toward their family and community remains strong. Family is everything in Cambodia. It's not just about parents and children, the extended family is just as important. Cambodian women grow up learning that they are the caretakers of the entire family network. And when they form relationships, especially with foreign men, that value doesn't change. This means that if you're entering a relationship here, you're not just with her, you're becoming a part of her family. It's a beautiful relationship, but it also comes with certain expectations. How does this affect relationships with foreign men? I'll touch on that in a moment. So, what makes Cambodian women stand out? First, it's their calm, gentle nature. You'll notice it right away they walk softly, speak softly, and bring a peaceful atmosphere to their families. This isn't just a stereotype, it's something you'll experience firsthand in many interactions. But don't mistake their gentle demeanor for weakness. Cambodian women are incredibly strong, balancing tradition, family, and now modern responsibilities. They anticipate the needs of those they care for, often without needing to be asked. Here's something that might surprise you Cambodian women often expect to receive the same level of respect and loyalty that they give. It's a two-way street. You'll experience kindness, care, and loyalty if you return it in kind. The key question is what happens when those expectations aren't met. How do cultural differences create tension in relationships with foreign men? Stay with me, because we're about to explore those challenges, and you won't want to miss what's coming next. When it comes to relationships, expectations in Cambodia might not be what you're used to. Whether you're thinking about retiring here or just curious about the culture, it's important to understand how relationships work, especially if you're a foreigner. And trust me, things don't always go as you expect. Respect is the foundation of relationships in Cambodia. For many Cambodian women, showing respect for their family, traditions, and partner is essential. But here's the thing they expect the same respect in return. It's a partnership or relationship built on mutual care and consideration. You'll notice that Cambodian women often anticipate their partner's needs without being asked, whether that's pouring you a drink or making sure you're comfortable. But they also expect you to be attentive and respond thoughtfully in return. Family isn't just important here, it's everything. When you're in a relationship with a Cambodian woman, you're not just part of her life, you become part of her family. And that means showing respect for her parents, siblings, cousins, and even distant relatives. A retiree I spoke with, David, moved to Cambodia because of the lower cost of living he spends about $1,200 a month on rent, food, and entertainment, and he lives comfortably. This amount really shocked him, as David never imagined he could have such a convenient and comfortable lifestyle for just $1,000. He rents a one-bedroom apartment in the center of Siem Reap for only $500 a month, spends around $4 for a meal at a casual restaurant, and pays about $100 for utilities like electricity, heating, cooling, water, trash, and internet. But what really made his life better was when he met and married a local woman. Suddenly, he wasn't just a foreigner living abroad, he became part of a large, welcoming family. Now, here's where things get serious. Cambodian women place a high value on loyalty. They aren't just looking for a partner for a few years, they want a long-term commitment. This isn't a culture of short-term relationships, especially when it comes to family life. If you're serious about building a future together, you need to show that. For David, this meant integrating into his wife's culture and lifestyle and understanding that loyalty is not just about being faithful but also about showing up for her and her family every day. This isn't always easy, especially when cultural differences arise, but the reward is a deep and lasting bond. But let's be honest, things don't always go smoothly. Language barriers, different ways of handling conflict, and adjusting to family customs can create tension. You might think you're doing everything right, but sometimes it's just different. David admitted that at first he didn't understand why his wife's family expected frequent visits, 
or why certain customs, like bringing small gifts to family gatherings, were so important. But over time, he got it and now, he's not just welcomed, he's embraced. The real question is what happens when those cultural differences run deeper, especially when it comes to money and family obligations? We'll get to that shortly. One of the most significant differences in relationships here relates to finances. In Cambodia, women often provide financial support to their parents and extended family. And if you're in a relationship with a Cambodian woman, that's something you need to be prepared for. David learned this early on. His wife would send part of their monthly income to her parents, which initially surprised him. But once he understood the importance of family obligations, he saw how supporting her family actually strengthened their relationship. In the end, relationships in Cambodia offer something unique. It's not just about romance, it's about building a life together, surrounded by a supportive family and community. Yes, there are challenges, but for retirees like David, the rewards far outweigh the obstacles. For many, the balance of peace, loyalty, and community makes life with a Cambodian partner so much more fulfilling. So, if you're considering it, remember respect the culture, value the family, and prepare for something truly special. Before we move on, I have a special 10-second request for all of you listening. If you can help me out in any way, just hit the notification bell and subscribe, it would mean a lot. It really helps this channel. And if you do that for me, I promise that my team and I will do everything we can to make this show even better for you. Do we have a deal? When it comes to Cambodian women, your experience can vary significantly depending on whether you live in a bustling urban center like Phnom Penh or in the peaceful countryside. So, what are the differences? And how do they impact your relationship? In cities like Phnom Penh or Siem Reap, you'll meet women who balance tradition with modern life. Many pursue higher education, work in offices, and have more exposure to global culture. They are ambitious, independent, and while they still respect Cambodian family values, they embrace new opportunities. Take the story of Peter, a retiree who settled in Phnom Penh for the modern conveniences like restaurants, healthcare services, and a growing expat community. He met his wife, a university graduate working in finance, and was amazed by how she balanced her career with a deep connection to her family. She wasn't just focused on her job every weekend, they would visit her parents in the countryside, where traditional values are still deeply respected. In rural Cambodia, life moves more slowly, and the connection to tradition runs even deeper. Women in these areas often focus more on family, the home, and maintaining long-standing customs. They tend to live closer to their extended families, and have less exposure to Western influences. For someone like James, another retired foreigner, this lifestyle was exactly what he was looking for. He chose to settle in a rural village where the cost of living is extremely low. He spends about $800 a month on rent, food, and all other expenses. But beyond the financial benefits, he found something deeper a community where his wife's family plays a central role in their daily lives. The cultural differences between urban and rural areas affect not only the pace of life but also shape how relationships operate. In the city, women may expect more independence, while in the countryside, the focus tends to be on traditional roles and family unity. But here's the interesting part, no matter where you are, Cambodian women value respect, loyalty, and care in a relationship. So, which lifestyle suits you best? Do you prefer the fast energy of the city or the quiet, family-centered life in the countryside? Both offer unique experiences, and the question is how will these differences impact your relationship? And what happens when you're caught between two worlds? In reality, many retirees find themselves balancing both worlds. Even if you live in the city, you'll often visit the countryside, spending time with your partner's extended family, and if you settle in the countryside, you'll still visit urban centers for amenities like healthcare or shopping. Understanding and adapting to both lifestyles can be key to a successful relationship. For Peter and James, it's about finding balance, embracing the new while respecting the old. So, no matter where you decide to settle, remember that Cambodia offers something unique in every corner from the vibrant city centers to the simplicity of rural life. 
Are you hoping to have a life like David, Peter, and James, a life with affordable living costs alongside a beautiful, loyal, and kind-hearted wife? What if I told you that you could live in this country for just $500 a month, and how far your money could go in this beautiful nation? Our video, The Best Asian Countries to Live in for $500 a Month, will answer all your questions about the cost of living in Cambodia, exploring everything from affordable housing to healthcare, safety, and the local amenities that make daily life comfortable. Don't miss it. When it comes to relationships, what do Cambodian women really want? That's a question many foreigners ask when considering settling in this beautiful country. But the answer may not be as simple as you think. At the heart of it all, Cambodian women value respect respect for them, their families, and their traditions. It's not about grand gestures, it's about showing up, being kind, and listening. Take Sam, a foreign retiree living in Cambodia for the low cost of living he spends about $1,000 a month enjoying a comfortable lifestyle. But it wasn't until he met his wife, Srey, that he realized how important mutual respect is. Every day, they share small acts of kindness, like making tea for each other, or simply asking, how are you feeling today? It's those little things that make a big difference. But respect is just the beginning. What happens when family expectations come into play? And how can you navigate that? We'll get into that soon. Loyalty plays a huge role in relationships here. Cambodian women aren't looking for short-term flings, they value commitment and long-term relationships. Many come from traditional families where marriage is seen as a lifelong bond. When Matthew, a retiree from New York City, met his wife in Cambodia, he didn't realize how seriously loyalty is taken here. Over time, he learned that loyalty isn't just about being faithful, it's about caring for the family. It means standing by each other through challenges, whether they are financial, emotional, or personal. Family isn't just important in Cambodia, it's the center of life. When you marry a Cambodian woman, you're also marrying her family. This can be wonderful, but it also comes with expectations. David, the retiree we mentioned earlier, learned that marriage here means becoming part of the extended family visiting, celebrating, and sometimes even supporting them financially. It was new to him, but it also gave him a sense of belonging he hadn't experienced before. But it's not just about respect, loyalty, or family obligations. Cambodian women also want emotional support. They want a partner who is present, who understands their struggles, and who will stand by them through tough times. For Matthew and his wife, this emotional connection became the most important part of their relationship. As he settled into life in Cambodia, he realized that their gentle, meaningful conversations at the end of each day were what truly strengthened their bond. The thing is being with a Cambodian woman often means balancing two cultures. While they respect their traditions, they are also open to new ideas, especially in urban areas where life is more modern. Finding a balance between your culture and hers is key to a successful relationship. But what happens when that balance tips too far in one direction? What challenges arise when cultural differences become too great? Stay tuned, as we'll explore that in the next segment. Life in Cambodia can be a dream for many retirees affordable living, a slower pace of life, and the chance to build something meaningful. But when it comes to relationships, especially with Cambodian women, there are some challenges and cultural differences you need to consider. So what are these challenges, and how can you overcome them? One of the first things you'll notice is the language barrier. While many people in the city speak English, this isn't always the case in rural areas. Communication can be a challenge, and misunderstandings are bound to happen. Anthony, a retiree who moved here from the United States, admits that learning basic karma wasn't just help for you, it was necessary. He found that even small efforts, like saying hello or thank you in karma, made a huge difference in connecting with his wife's family. But sometimes, misunderstandings are unavoidable. In Cambodia, family is everything. This also means that privacy might look a little different here. In many Cambodian families, it's normal for relatives to visit without notice or for people to share details of their daily lives. For some foreigners, this can feel overwhelming. For Edward, a retiree from England, this was one of the biggest adjustments. 
He appreciated the warmth of his wife's family but struggled with their frequent unannounced visits. He soon realized that in Cambodia, this is seen as a sign of care, not intrusion. And over time, he grew to appreciate this closeness. But what happens when cultural differences create more serious tension? Let's talk about family responsibilities and financial obligations, which can be more complicated. Family obligations in Cambodia aren't just about emotional support. Women often help their parents, siblings, and even extended family financially. As a foreigner, this might surprise you, but it's a reality you may have to face. For Edward, this meant adjusting to the idea that a portion of their monthly budget would go towards supporting his wife's parents and, at times, her siblings. While it felt strange at first, he learned that in Cambodian culture, this is a sign of respect and duty. For many families, this is simply a way of life. Another thing to consider is the difference in gender roles. While many Cambodian women in urban areas pursue careers and have more independence, traditional gender roles are still quite common, especially in rural areas. Jonathan, who chose to retire in a rural village, noticed that his wife took on many traditional roles in the family, like cooking and managing the household. For him, it felt like stepping back in time, but it's a dynamic that still works for many families here. It's all about finding a balance between tradition and modernity. So how do you overcome these cultural differences? The key is respect and communication. Embrace what makes Cambodia unique, but also have open conversations about your own expectations. For Edward, Jonathan, and many other retirees, balancing cultures isn't always easy, but the rewards are well worth the effort. But there's still one challenge that can test even the strongest relationships what happens when your values conflict with long-standing traditions. Retiring in Cambodia can feel like a dream-stunning landscape, a welcoming culture, and a low cost of living. You could visit the mystical Angkor Archaeological Park, where ancient trees grow among the ruins, creating an unforgettable landscape. Or you might explore Koh Rong Island, with its white sandy beaches, crystal clear waters and lush jungles, one of Cambodia's top natural beauty destinations. There are countless other breathtaking natural sites to explore. But if you're thinking about moving here and building a life with a Cambodian partner, there are important legal and financial considerations you need to keep in mind. So, what do you need to prepare for? And how can you avoid some of the common mistakes others have made? First, if you plan to marry a Cambodian woman, be prepared for a bit of paperwork. The marriage process is not as simple as in your home country. You'll need to gather several documents, including a certificate of no impediment, proof of income, and a health check. And be ready for some waiting time official procedures here can take longer than you might expect. Patrick, a retiree from Canada, recalls that it took him three months to gather all the paperwork and get approval from local officials. His advice? Start early, be patient, and don't expect things to move quickly. It's just part of the process here. But what happens after the wedding? How do your legal responsibilities change? And what does marrying a Cambodian woman mean financially? Let's dive into that now. One of the benefits of marrying a Cambodian citizen is the possibility of applying for long-term residency. However, Cambodia doesn't have a retirement visa like some neighboring countries, so most retirees use business or tourist visas. Getting married can simplify things, allowing you to apply for a marriage visa. For Patrick, this meant greater stability. He no longer had to worry about renewing his tourist visa every few months, and having his wife by his side made dealing with paperwork much easier. Now, let's talk about money. Marrying a Cambodian woman often comes with financial responsibilities, not just to her but also to her family. In Cambodia, women frequently support their parents and even their siblings. You may find yourself contributing financially, whether for daily living expenses or when help is needed. Dennis, an American retiree who moved to Cambodia for its low cost of living, initially wasn't prepared for this. With a budget of about $1,200 a month, Dennis had to adjust when his wife's family needed financial support. But over time, he realized this was a cultural expectation, and by accepting it, 
he strengthened his relationship with his wife's family. One thing many foreigners don't realize is that Cambodia's property ownership laws can make it difficult for outsiders. Foreigners are not allowed to own land directly in Cambodia. However, you can own buildings or real estate through long-term leases or by having a Cambodian partner own the land in their name. For Adam, a retiree from the United Kingdom, this was one of the biggest surprises. He and his wife decided to purchase land in her name, but to protect himself legally, they worked with a lawyer to set up a long-term lease. This gave him security while respecting Cambodian law. But what happens if relationships break down or you decide to return to your home country? How do these legal considerations come into play? Stay tuned as we'll explore that next. Whether it's about visas, marriage, or property, the most important advice is seek legal help. Navigating Cambodian law can be complex, and without proper guidance, you could find yourself in a difficult situation. Both Dennis and Adam found that working with a local lawyer helped them avoid costly mistakes. Legal advice can help protect your assets, secure your residency, and ensure you're aware of all your obligations. So, what's the real takeaway when it comes to relationships with Cambodian women? Is life here as simple as it appears? Or are there deeper layers to uncover? At its core, relationships here are built on respect and family. It's not just about the two of you, it's about embracing a community, learning to navigate family dynamics, and respecting traditions that have been in place for centuries. Cambodian women keep their families close, and if you're willing to accept that, you'll find that the relationship you share is one of deep loyalty and care. But it's not always easy. There are cultural differences, financial expectations, and legal processes to consider. The key is balance knowing when to adapt, when to compromise, and when to stand by your own values. Take Christian, for example. When he retired in Cambodia, because of the low cost of living about $1,000 a month, he didn't anticipate the complexities of financially supporting his wife's family. It was a cultural shift, but he found that by embracing these challenges, he gained something he never thought possible, a deep connection with his wife's family and a place he could truly call home. But the question is what happens when life throws you a curveball? How do you navigate moments of conflict and misunderstanding that can test even the strongest relationships? That's something you'll have to face. Whether you're drawn to the peace of the countryside or the vibrancy of city life, Cambodia offers a unique experience for retirees but the key to a happy life here is adaptability. The pace, traditions, and challenges of this country may be different from what you're used to, but with the right mindset, those differences can become your greatest joy. So, if you're thinking about retiring in Cambodia, remember it's not just a destination, it's a journey filled with new experiences, lifelong connections, and, if you're lucky, a love that bridges cultures. It may not always be easy, but as Christian Adam and others have learned, the rewards far outweigh the challenges. If you found today's video interesting, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Your support is very important to us. Be sure to check out the next video appearing on your screen. You're sure to love the content we bring. Please leave a comment about which country you'd like us to explore next. Thank you for watching and see you in the latest video. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.